Hey, cool. Do we call you Echo or just Absolutely. Mr. Terrific? Uh, I prefer Mr. Terrific now. Yeah. Call me Echo. <laughs> <laughs> so Echo, last season we saw Curtis kind of give Team Arrow an assist. Can we expect now with it being down to Oliver and Felicity on the team for Curtis to kind of take up a bigger step? Yeah, you'll definitely see Curtis more involved with the team and really getting out there in the field and just trying to help out as much as he can, even though he's kind of inexperienced and doesn't have it all together. But you'll see his drive really coming through. And I think that's going to be a really cool aspect of him that you get to see. And you'll get to see that juxtaposition juxtaposed with his home life and whatnot as well so it's going to be a lot of fun you know is he still going to be a palm attack you know we um I don't know how to answer that question yet. You know, we haven't really touched on Palmer Tech uh, the first couple of episodes. As you know, Felicity was fired. Um, I think he still works there. I think he does. Uh, but, you know, we're kind of just diving into the aspect of what Team Arrow looks like now that, you know, a lot of the team members are left and trying to get on their own path or that Stiggle getting out of there after the infants with his brother or um, Thea really trying to, you know what I'm saying, find out who she is. And I think Curtis will be there to help out in the meantime, you know, until things get really good. In, in an enthusiastic, together. dorky kind of way. Absolutely. 100%. Enthusiasm and dorkiness is popping in Curtis. Wow. <laughs> Are you excited for the four the crossovers? Show crossover. Oh, yeah. yeah. I am so stoked. I want so bad for Curtis and Cisco to have a scene together. Oh, <laughs> That's definitely. really what I want. So I hope that gets to happen. Yeah. Oh, put it out there. Uh, do yeah. it. Tweet. The <laughs> Tell Wendy when she comes over here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. That would actually be pretty good interaction. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Yeah. With Curtis kind of taking on a bigger role, you know, um, this season, what would you like to explore in terms of his backstory? You know, I would really like to explore him and Paul's relationship and how they really make it work. I think that they're so good together and really have each other's back and I think it would be cool to see a positive like supportive partner who's there but even though they still have you know um, hurdles to get through seeing how they cross them and really show that they're really there for each other really care about each other so I'm really excited to see their relationship uh, develop further and also excited to see Curtis get out in the field and you know have those growing pains and also be able to kick a little ass Curtis's transition over to eventually Mr. Terrific um, whatever that is have you already got an idea in your mind on kind of how you want to portray that? Yeah, you know, honestly, from the first audition, we did some different things. They had me play the character two different ways, you know. Uh, so that's always something we've been discussing and dealing with in terms of how he is Mr. Terrific. So he will be slightly different from who he is as a regular character. Yeah. Yeah. But that was like the first time audition we dealt with that. We kind of dealt into that. Yeah, so it's very cool. Yeah. Cool. You know, I mean, Flashpoint has some effect on Arrow, but um, I think you really have to ask the producers really what's really going on with that. Yeah. Can you talk about the dynamic between Felicity and Curtis? How much fun is that? They like? hate each other. Uh, no, they are best friends. I think they are so supportive of each other. Uh, they're for good news or bad times or anything like that. And I, I think their dynamic is so special and awesome. I really like how Wendy really phrased it. She said, is it? If, uh, uh, God! Emily! Oh. You can see we hate each other. Oh. Uh, but, you know, Wendy said something really cool. was like, if Felicity's the software, Curtis is the hardware. And I think you really see us diving more into that aspect of his engineering prowess. And, you know, really, I mean, whether it was him creating the biostimulant or the power cell, you really see him forward into technology to really help out green, uh, the team Arrow and whatnot. So they have to stop important stuff from uh, Star Labs. So, What's the one scene that you think personifies your character to date? I mean, that beacon of hope scene when he first comes into the bunker. Yeah. I think that really, really personifies who Curtis is. You know, he's like a fanboy at heart. You know, he's like really like excited that the heroes are actually existing and that these things that we didn't think were possible or humanly possible or, you know, different uh, scientific theories being proven or being proven. I think he's really just so excited about that. You know, he's such a, a science driven person and seeing kind of how some of that stuff takes a backseat to some mystical elements and stuff like that is really like mind-blowing to him you know or yeah. seeing you know uh, 
different like earths and stuff like that. I think it's like really like holy crap that these theories are like true. There's wormholes and stuff like that. And he loves that type of stuff. So cool. Really cool. Yeah. Were you a fanboy at heart? I mean, did you read comics? Oh yeah, I'm I'm a huge nerd. Grew up reading comic books, anime, video games, the whole gamut. Playing Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I mean, whatever. You know, I just was really hard into nerd culture. That's my culture, as I call it. Uh, but yeah, so it, it's really a dream come true to be able to be on a super hero show and to actually become a superhero. I'm pinching myself though. What's it like to be here at Comic-Con knowing like you're a superhero now? <laughs> it's crazy! You know, last time I was at Comic-Con I was walking the floor and just like, you know, getting it in and now it's like I can't even walk outside and be like, yo! So it's, it's really <laughs> surreal and you, I mean, I, I, the question I've been asking myself a lot lately is, what is life? Like, how is this possible? Like, this is, I'm living a dream, you know? It's so cool to be a part of this, and these are my people, and the people I really connect with, and to be a part of that is so great. You know, I've done TV for a couple of years now, and for my friends to be like, yo, last night, that episode was dope, so you know, it's like, yes! It's like such a win, that my friends are actually into something like that. I'm in, you know? Such a win, yeah. <laughs> So have you, got, you started shooting this yes, season? Yes, ma'am. How? What episode? I'm episode three. Mm. Okay. Uh, anything that's coming up that you can't wait for the fans to see? So much coming up. I can't wait for them to see the first two episodes. Any, I mean, it's we have so hit the ground running just out the gate, and they're really mixing it up, and it, it already feels so different from last season. It's like kind of crazy because we we all I think we all just feel like we just kind of went away for a couple weeks, and we're like, all right, let's keep shooting. What's happened? Everything's different now. All the people are different. Uh, uh, but, you know, I, I'm just so excited for people to see these episodes return out. Obviously, the writers are so great, and we have, like, these new recruits coming in, and new vigilantes coming in, new badasses, new bad guys, so I just can't wait for people to see it all. So excited. Supergirl's joining the CW universe. How do you think that Curtis would react to seeing her? I think he would have a nerdgasm <laughs> if he met Supergirl. That would be, like, so huge, and I hope he gets to meet her. I would love to see that interaction, you know. Uh, but like I said, you know, he's just fascinated by that type of stuff, you know. Someone flying or whatever, the fly. It's just, he's very fascinated that th that stuff could be actually possible, you know. So I, I think he's going to love it. Has he seen The Flash? I'm trying to remember. I mean, he hasn't seen The Flash in the show, but he's obviously heard of Flash. Oh, yeah, you know? but he hasn't yeah, yeah, seen, yeah. He hasn't seen oh, okay. him. Officially, he hasn't met him yet. Well, that's mm -hmm. the crossover. Yeah, oh, I cannot wait. <laughs> 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 Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.